what's going on everyone? I'm Justin Lombard, aka Interesting 4 I'm here with Zachary Lombard, aka Magnum 5 Hello. And welcome to another Lombard Bros talk show, uh, the second one we're doing. It's been um, about a month since we last did our talk show, and we're trying to now do this weekly and everything, so I thought we'd let you know more about that. Um, anyway, uh, so welcome to another talk show, which we'll be talking about some random stuff and some topics and stuff like that. And so, but before we get started here, I want to mention that we do have new products coming our way in the store for you to order and everything. Uh, first of all, um, it's the Lombard Bros Gaming Logo T-shirt. Um, if you've seen the logo before, it's got the controller, it's got my face and Zachary's face, and then our YouTube names under our faces, and then the Lombard Bros Gaming uh, name on there and stuff like that. Um, comes only in this color, only in this color blue, uh, in all sizes, small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. So it comes in five different sizes. Um, just, uh, yeah, and it's a, a fabric, is that what you call it? Right, it yeah, should be, yeah. Should be, yeah. So um, it's just regular t-shirt if you want to order one. All right, head. we also got more products here. We got Backpacks like uh, um, what do you call it? drawstring backpacks and stuff. Uh, yeah, 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 kind of like that. So we got one in blue. It has the Lombard Bros Gaming logo on it, and we have another one in green. So two colors you can buy, either blue or green. Those are the only two colors we have. We got um, stickers, regular stickers, uh, not for the car and stuff um, or anything. They're just like regular stickers. They're permanent stickers too, so if you stick, if you order one of these and you want to stick it on something, I would be careful where you want to stick it because, yeah, um, it's permanent sticker. They will not come off and stuff unless um, I think there's something you have to use uh, to peel these stickers off if you ever want to. Bumper stickers, we got bumper stickers here uh, for your car, which is good. Or you can put it on your bumper, you can put it on your windows and stuff. Uh, for your car, um, oh yeah, the sticker is also Lombard Bros Gaming logo, and also this bumper sticker is uh, for your. It's the Lombard Bros Gaming logo as well, so um, you can get a sticker, uh, bumper sticker for your car, or whatever you want to use it on your car, like on your bumper, your paint, your glass. I would most likely put it on the glass, honestly, but it's up to you. I mean, it's your car. Um, we got laptop skins. So if you want to have a laptop skin for your laptop, you got one here, Lombard Bros Gaming logo as well. So yeah, if you don't have a laptop skin on your laptop, just order one of these and yeah, you have our faces on there on your laptop as well. And last but not least, we got Lombard Bros Gaming mouse pads. Um, yeah, for you know, for your mouse, for your computer or laptop, whatever device, you know, whatever computer you have, um, you know, if you want to put your mouse on there, you can have this mouse pad. It's got our logo on there as well. Most of these new products that we're having has our logo on it and stuff, like I said, including the shirt. So if you want to go out in public or wear them as pajamas, like if you want to wear them to sleep and stuff, um, just buy the shirt and stuff like that. Um, if you want to order any of these products, in the description below, there's a link where you can go to to order any of these products. It's shop. It's www.shop.lombardbrosgaming.com. If you have any questions, just email at lombardbrosgaming at email lombardbrosgaming at yahoo.com, or you can go onto our website lombardbrosgaming.com, and if you want to, if you have any questions, go there. Go to the contact area. Uh, send us an email and we'll try to respond to you as soon as we can and stuff. But like I said, if you want to order any of these products, just go to shop.lombardbrosgaming.com. The link is in the description below and I will also put it in the comment section below. So if you want to order a t-shirt, mouse pad, laptop skin, one of these backpacks, a um, bumper sticker, a regular sticker, or any of our other products that we have in store, just go to shop.lombardbrosgaming.com. So that's all we want to talk about, the products and stuff. We thought we'd let you know what we have in store for you. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing uh, one of the shirts right now. That's why I decided not to bring out another one to show you. I just thought I'd wear it so I can show you and stuff. So 
let's get on to the show now that I mentioned about the products and stuff. So, anyway, Zach, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's uh, cloudy outside. It's been yeah. overcast all day. It's supposed to be like that tomorrow and Saturday, I'm hearing. Uh, before I walked in here, um, it was sprinkling a bit, too. Really? Yeah, it was sprinkling outside. But it wasn't raining. It was just sprinkles, you know, right. which I'm okay with that. So, yeah, it was sprinkling outside a bit, but uh, I survived and uh, in here to do this talk show. Zach, you look nice. Yeah, I agree. In the polo and the black jeans and then the black tie and stuff. I mean, Zach looks ready to go for, like, a job interview or something or just a regular business shot like that. Me, I'm just in casual t-shirt and jeans and stuff like that. So, and your hair is combed as well. That looks nice. Uh, you know, my hair is kind of combed a bit. Speaking of hair... Really should think about haircuts soon, especially since summer is coming. Right. So, you know, I want to look nice and stuff. So, anyway, so let's figure out what to talk about. So, let's talk about games real quick. So, uh, on Monday, they released the uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare trailer, which I gotta say, it seems like... Um, over half the people are not liking, are not looking forward to this uh, Infinite Warfare Call of Duty and stuff. What I do like about it is that they're coming out with a remaster of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which I'm looking forward to that for sure and stuff. To me, I mean, I sh I'm not going to give my opinion to Infinite Warfare yet because, uh, you know, I want to see some gameplay. I want to see some multiplayer footage and stuff like that. Some campaign footage before I make a decision on is Infinite Warfare. Um, is, is it worth buying and stuff, you know? But I am definitely looking forward to the Call of Duty 4 remaster and stuff. However, in order to get the remaster of COD 4, you have to buy Infinite Warfare and stuff. So... I mean, I'll buy Infinite Warfare just to play uh, COD 4 and stuff like that. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to really give out any um, opinions on what I think about Infinite Warfare. All I just saw when I saw it on the Call of Duty YouTube channel of the trailer and stuff, over half the people disliked the video and stuff. And as a matter of fact, it's close to about the top 100th most disliked video on YouTube and stuff, which is pretty amazing and stuff. Um, but... Uh, yeah, amazing in the wrong way, I should say. So, I don't know if, uh, you know, and I just do not like it when... Shut the hell up! Thank you, dog. Anyway, <laughs> I kind of had a voice crack there. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so, I don't, you know, I don't know why people will try to like or dislike something even before gameplay or any footage, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's alright to have an opinion and stuff like that. But to me, my opinion is that I'm going to wait till the some gameplay comes out, some multiplayer footage and out like that before I make a decision on buying the game or what. And I guarantee you they're going to come out with a beta like they've done with the last couple of Call of Duties and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised about that. I'll play the beta as well, see if it's worth buying and stuff. So yeah, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare coming out uh, November 4th of this year along with the COD 4 remaster. Looking forward to the remaster and stuff, but, uh, I mean, I played Call of Duty 4 the other day and stuff, and, uh, because after I watched the trailer, I was such in the mood to watch, uh, COD, I, to play COD 4 and stuff, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, really, for sure. So, anyway, so, Zach, anything you want to talk about? Anything you have in mind right now? How was your day, by the way? So far, my day is going good. Yeah? Did you do anything today? I just worked. Yeah? Yeah. Working is fun, huh? Yeah. Did you record any videos today? No. No, not really. Really? Yeah, same here. Oh, you know uh, Jeff Gordon is coming out with a book? Really? Uh, on no October 18th this year. It's called Jeff Gordon, His Dream, Drive, and Destiny. They, he announced that earlier today. I'm definitely going to pre-order the book because I'm interested in reading the book and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm just trying to see if I can get some news here and stuff like that. So, yeah. Anyway, also, by the way, I want to mention it is Jesse's birthday today. But by the time you're watching this, this video will come out tomorrow and stuff. 
Uh, Jesse turned 21 today. Yeah. Uh, he is now legal, you know, right. and legit. He can party hard and be drunk, mm -hmm. you know. Right. I mean, don't really. I mean, that's up to you, of course. So, uh, <laughs> if you want to as well, that's. But you know, says the guy that never drinks. You know, I mean, I. Of course, I can't. I can't drink alcohol and stuff like that because of the Crohn's disease I have. You know. Right. So that's out of the question for me, or out of the, of out of something neither, I can do. Neither you know? can I. Well, actually, you can because you don't have a health issue, but you choose not to. Right. You know, you know so, yeah, that's uh, that's you. So it's not like you have a problem with drinking as of right now, you know. Right. But you just choose not to do it and stuff. So, well, we're a little bit over 10 minutes in into the show. Uh, we're going to try to do this for an hour, you know. Hopefully we have topics to talk about and stuff. So, um, what do you think? Do you have... Um, you have any future plans? You know, Mother's Day is this Sunday. Right. We should probably give get mom some flowers and stuff. We're going out to dinner actually Saturday night. I have no idea where and stuff, but uh, you know, but uh, I'm deciding we're gonna go out to dinner Saturday night and stuff, and then Sunday just gonna chill here. Right. Mom wants to chill, but I still think we should give her like flowers, a card, or something like that. You know, cause you know. Right. Cause. Well, it's mom might kick our, our butts, you know? Who right. knows? Who knows? Probably want to avoid that. So, um, anyway. So, you have any future plans coming up? Not much. No? Yeah. God, I got a little bit of the hiccups and stuff. And ever since I ate uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, I mean, you, you, you bought me some Buffalo Wild Wings earlier today. Because you know I can't drive yet. Which, by the way, speaking... Okay, so I'm going to give more detail about my incident that I had three, a little over three weeks ago now. Right. Um, obviously, you saw, you watched on YouTube that I, I posted something that, about me passing out be, while I was driving and stuff. Everything's going well so far. Um, I have, um, previously, I saw um, the cardiologist had to run some tests there. And I had to wear like a heart monitor for like 24 hours to, for the, to check my heart and everything, see how, how it functions. I went this past Monday to check out the results of my heart, of my heart test and stuff. My heart's functioning fine. Uh, there's no issues in my heart whatsoever. So obviously my heart's functioning pretty good, which is good news. Right. Because they wanted to check to see if I had a heart attack or some other issue with uh, my heart and stuff, you know? Right. So, um, but doc, the cardiologist told me that my heart is good, good to go, no issues. Yesterday, I went for an MRI because I want to check up here. Well, the neurologist sent me to do an MRI and they wanted to check my brain and stuff like that, which let me tell you something. I've never had an MRI before. So claustrophobic. Oh my God. I mean, I knew I had to be in some sort of machine but I did not expect how claustrophobic I, it was because I had to lay down, you know, stuff like that. And then they had to put this thing over my head and stuff to secure my head and everything. Right. So I wouldn't move my head around in there. I have to, like, keep it straight. And then, of course, they rolled me into the machine. And I swear, the, the roof is, like, about, like, if I was looking up like this, the roof is about, like, right here. Yeah. The sides of, like, the walls are, like, about here. And then to here, you know, it was this close. So I'm basically for like half an hour, I'm laying in like this, you know, or I have my arms and ha my hands up on my chest like this, you know, stuff like that. So I'm technically laying in there like I'm stiff, which was really annoying. And it was kind of a little uncomfortable too, because I have to sit still for the longest time and stuff, you know, and it's like, I want to move so bad. So they had to roll me into that machine for the tw first 20 minutes. Then they had to stick a needle in me right here. They stuck a needle in right there. Yeah. They had to put contrast in it. And then um, then they had to roll me back into the machine for another six and a half minutes. So after the MRI, they, um, I have to have a follow-up appointment to check the re my MRI results on the 16th of May and stuff. So hopefully... Um, on May 16th or May 17th, I will be driving again because let me tell you something, Zach, I'm so bothered not driving. I mean, it's been about almost a month that yeah. I'm not driving. It'll be over a month that I'll be able to go back driving again. So 
I still, at this time, I still have another 11, 10 days, you know, now to wait for my MRI results and the MRI will determine whether I'm able to drive again or not and stuff. They, but it uh, depends on the results of my brain and stuff, you know. Which I kind of make fun of my brain because it's like, what are you going to find in here, you know? Like, yeah. you're probably going to find a lot of useless information, <laughs> you know? So, but I just want to let you know that I'm doing well, um, active, drinking lots of water too, because all my doctors have said that, um, that I was dehydrated and stuff, which thankfully that's all it is. If that's all it was, was dehydration, that's a good thing. So, anyway, I'm doing well. Hopefully I'll be back driving within the next 10 to 11 days, you know, so you won't have to drive me around anymore, and Manju and Anju doesn't have to drive me around, and Jesse, you know, because right. they've been driving me around, Dad, you know, yeah. so, um, <laughs> hopefully you get back driving soon, because I'm eager to get back into that, into my car and drive, you know, because it's like, uh, because basically I have to rely on, um, when I'm leaving the house, you know, like, if you're going somewhere, I'll just go with you, or, you know, I have to ask you, hey, Zach, can you drop me off here, or, Dad, can you drop me off, or, Manju and Anju, or Jesse, you know, like, can you drop me off at this place and stuff, you know, and, uh, I'll be so glad when that's over, too, you know? Right. But anyway, so far, my results, my test results of my health, really good. And I'm uh, just waiting for the results of my MRI on the 16th of May, and hopefully I'll be back on the road. You know, I'll be back on the road. So, anyway, you don't have any health issues. No. Yet. You're like, probably right now, the health, you're the healthiest person in the house. Right. Uh, compared to me, mom, and dad, you know. Which is quite annoying because it's like, Zach, you need to join our club. You really need to join us, you know. I'm hoping not to. What? You'll probably be like 60 years old when you finally get your first health issue and stuff. It's like, really? You know? Who knows? That, that would really annoy me, honestly, because it's like, wow, I wish I lasted that long and stuff. Right. So, anyway, so, what did you really do in your day today? Well, I was originally going to film a Let's Play. Yeah. But, I, I didn't get to do that. When, when were you going to film it? Earlier this afternoon. How come you didn't do it? I don't know, because I was too busy with other stuff, like taking, like, Dad's clothes to the cleaners and picking up his other stuff, mm. and went to get lunch for me and you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I was kind of busy too. Uh, you know, I actually came in here earlier this morning and, uh, Cleaned up the studio bit. It looks. Does it look nice right now? It looks better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And I vacuumed in here, organized stuff because my desk was becoming a mess. So I'm like, I need to clean a bit in here, you know? Right. Because it's really starting to get annoying. I was starting to get annoyed with myself on how messy my area was and stuff. Right. So I thought I'd clean up in here a bit, and uh, yeah. So looks nice and clean now. The carpet looks nice and clean. Just looks like everything's more organized right now, which is a good thing. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> just so glad that, um, yeah, <laughs> just so happy that it's clean and stuff. And uh, then afterwards, uh, I had to go help out. Um, I went with uh, Manju mm -hmm. uh, to go pick up her sister Anju and stuff. And, um, you know, we hung out for a little bit. We went to the co we went to the college, you know, and stuff like that. Hung out there for a bit because they had like some sort of fair there today, and so I went for that only for like a half an hour, and then we left the area and uh, came came back to their house and uh, I was helping Manju uh, with her. She's making a motivation wall and stuff, like you know how like you like like a happiness kind of wall I should say like, you know. Like, uh, put pictures up on the wall of what makes her happy in life and stuff. We were doing that today. One that makes her happy is, uh, makeup, you know, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, YouTube, she said it makes her happy because she has a YouTube channel on her own. Which, by the way, if you want to subscribe to Manju and Anju's channel, it will also be in the description below since now I'm mentioning them about it and stuff like that, you know. Right. And then, uh, she, uh, did, um, uh, the ocean. 
she has ocean, you know. She did sunset. She has a picture of a sunset. And she has uh, her favorite YouTuber, a picture of her favorite YouTuber, Superwoman. And I forgot what the last one is, honestly. Oh my gosh. I forgot what the last one is. My goodness. Oh, uh, she was thinking about also adding, like, a picture of the friends she has. All her friends up on the wall, you know? The friends that makes her happy. She included uh, you and I, too. That she was going to put up on the wall as well. And stuff like that. And also, she wants me to help her out with her YouTube channel and everything. Like, uh, like how design her uh, thumbnails and her, her uh, channel and everything, you know? Right. Better stuff. Which, her channel is good, you know? But she says she wants more added, you know, so I thought I'd help her out with that maybe tomorrow, you know, she's going to come over here tomorrow. And she wants to film more videos for her channel as well. So I offered her to, like, come here tomorrow and we'll film and stuff. And she said, sure, you know. So anyway. Oh, speaking of, of YouTube channels, you know Jesse is starting a YouTube channel. Gaming YouTube channel. Really? Yeah. Um, I already subscribed to his channel. His channel name is 118 Weast. Because you know, you know what I mean, right? right. I don't want to give out too much information, but it's 118 Weiss. And the Weiss came from one of the Spongebob episodes. You know, like when Patrick says, like, like, oh, East? I thought you said Weiss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what episode you're talking w -E -A -S -T. about. W-E-A-S-T. When he was looking at the compass. Yeah. So it's 118 space Weiss, you know? Right. That's, that's going to be his YouTube channel name. So yeah, Jesse also has a YouTube channel he's starting. If you want to subscribe to Jesse's channel as well, that's also in the link in the description below. That's also in the description if you want to subscribe to Jesse. He's going to post up... He already posted up his first video the other day. Uh, it was like a Halo uh, collector's uh, uh, collection edition uh, video, you know, Halo right. video. Uh, it was mainly a test video, he said. He was recording it for like an hour and 20 minutes and he cut the video down to like 15 minutes and stuff like that because it was just like a test video but anyway if you want to subscribe to um Manju and Anju's YouTube channel and also Jesse's YouTube channel the link is in the description below also if you want to subscribe to Zachary's channel his his channel link will be in the description below as well so uh, yeah see right now Zach it is 6 o'clock you know right. it's 6 o'clock in the evening and We've been recording, or been broadcast, uh, not, um, doing this talk show for about 23 minutes, almost, you know? Right. So, yeah, so, some things going on, and stuff like that. So, so, lately, Zach, you know, you do research, and stuff like that. Have you heard of anything lately, and stuff? Not much. You know, a couple of weeks ago, Prince died. Yeah. Which, that sucks. Yeah. Great, great singer. Great artist, stuff like that. Prince passed away. Really sucks. Um, yesterday was uh, May the 4th be with you, you know? Yeah. Day, Star Wars day, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, did you hear about this um, this huge wildfire that's going up in Canada right now? No, I haven't heard about no, it. You haven't seen any photos of that or any video of that? No. The Okay, so it's in Fort McMurray, Canada. Uh-huh. And... The whole city had to evacuate. Th tens of thousands, hundred thousands of people has to evacuate the area. Wow. To leave the town. They literally, the whole city is closed off because of the wildfire. I mean, it's spreading throughout the whole entire Fort McMurray town and stuff. And let me just say my thoughts and prayers to the victims right now that are dealing with this wildfire up in Canada right now because I looked at video and I looked at photos of that oh my gosh it's like I've never and I thought the wildfires here in California was bad but until you see the video and photo footage and photos of the wildfire that's going on in Canada right now oh my god it's way worse than what we get them here I would say right now because uh, we get wildfires here, like, around summer and fall, you know, something right. like that. Our recent one we had it was, was like, last September. No, no it was in August. August, August. Yeah. yeah. It was last year in August. It happened actually on this side of town, you know. Right. And uh, the wildfire lasted, I mean, it lasted for several hours, but it, it lasted through the night, but it was gone the next morning and stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, 
Wildfires are not fun. And let me tell you something. The smoke, when you smell that, it's like, oh. And then the smoke, the, the, the air, you know? Oh, it's just so bad afterwards. Like, because you can smell the air. You can smell that smoke. And it's not good for the air. You can see the ashes on cars and stuff like that. Right. Oh, my God. Remember the one we had here back in 2003? Oh, I would yeah. say the one in 2003 was the worst one we've had. The one in 2007 as well was pretty bad. Yeah. Though, but 2003, I would say, was the worst because there were like 15 to 20 different wildfires in the areas of Southern California, didn't including we have, here. Didn't we also have one here in 2005? Yeah, but it wasn't really that bad, Right. I would say. Right. But, um, you know, but the one in 2003 was really bad because it was like 15 to 20 different areas around Southern California where there was a wildfire. And it's like, my goodness. Yeah. And like I said, when you smell that air of the smoke and stuff, it's so oh, bad. God, I know. It I hate so it. so bad. Along with that, we get earthquakes here, too. Yeah. Which we haven't really had a big one in a long time. Right. Which is good. I think the most recent big one we had that I remember mm -hmm. was a couple years ago, like uh, in March, where I woke up early that uh, early Monday morning, and I was editing the video. And all of a sudden, I, can, I, hear, I hear the rumble... And then all of a sudden, I feel the shakiness and stuff right. on, the, on the floor, especially because my legs were kind of doing this, like wiggling back and forth like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I heard the sound for a few seconds, the earthquake noise, and then I felt the shaking. And it lasted for like a few seconds. It was like one of those quick jolts, you know, right. and stuff like that, But uh, which was, uh, you were asleep. And I was up at 6.30 in the morning, that Monday the, morning. The earthquake actually woke me up. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it, it wasn't it was like one of those earthquakes that knocked things over and stuff, but it was enough where you feel it like this, you know? Right. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully we are not expecting an earthquake anytime soon, you know? Right. That would stink. So, anyway, but, yeah. Earthquakes and wildfires that we get in Southern California, uh, not fun. No. Uh, honestly. I mean, yeah, as long as you can survive, you know, then you're good to go and stuff. So, yeah, anything. So, I want to show you guys a photo real quick that, oh, wait, no, let me uh, go into actual photos and stuff. Here we go. So, earlier today, um, we had to help our friend Anju and her friend named Fassel, which I think I'll mention his name here. Um, his name is Fassel, and uh, they're both Indians and stuff, and uh, they want they needed a, uh, a school project to be done, and stuff, and it was basically a video project, you know, right. like for cultural. So we thought we offered them to use our studio here, and uh, yeah, so we filmed it earlier, and I have to edit the video for them, you know, stuff like that, which I'll get it done hopefully by Monday, you know, stuff like that. But I was wearing this thing earlier. Um, you know how Muslims and in, uh, Indians sometimes they wear these uh, these scarves over their head and stuff? Right. It's called a dupuda, dupada, or whatever it is called. I forgot how you pronounce it. Yeah, I'll just show them the photo real quick. All right, so... This was uh, me earlier. Don't I look good? Oh, got a notification. That's okay. Um, but uh, let me get that out. But look, I look good in this. Do I? Tell me. I look good. Yep, wearing this pink... Uh, uh, tapuda. <laughs> Don't know how you pronounce it again. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but this was uh, on juice, you know. Right. And I thought I want a photo of that real quick and thought I looked good. And stuff like that. Oh, <laughs> so like uh, like that face. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Uh, uh, whoop, uh, 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 but uh, okay, got it. <laughs> so, uh, so um, this is uh from earlier today. This is um, this is a uh, uh focus, please. This is Fassel, and of course that's Anju right here. Uh, Manju wasn't with us because uh. She had, she had a project of her own that she wanted to finish up. And so 
we didn't, so she didn't, she didn't come with us because she wanted to finish her project. But doesn't that look good as well? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. anyway, that was from earlier today and stuff. So, anyway, so that's what we've been doing today, uh, helping out with their school project, uh, video project. And uh, I imported their, the clips onto the computer, onto my computer, and I'm going to edit it for them. Hopefully it'll be done by Monday because her presentation is next Wednesday, you know? Right. So, yeah, I have to try to get all that done by Monday and stuff, at least by Monday. So, yeah. So, I mean, kind of been a busy day for me, you know, but, yeah. you know, not a bad day. No. So... Yeah. Anything you want to talk about? Um, I feel like I've been talking a lot <laughs> so far. Yeah. So you have any topics to say or anything came up in mind? Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys don't know. Next month, Joe and I are going to San Francisco. Oh, yeah. We're um, going to San Francisco next month because, well, mainly it's because, I mean, we go up to San Francisco every June and stuff. Right. Uh, reason being, mainly the reason is because NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race is up in Sonoma, and that's about half an hour, 45 minutes away uh, from Sonoma Raceway to San Francisco, between there and stuff. So we mainly go to San Francisco and stay there for a few days just because of that, you know, and stuff. We go, we've been going there every year since, I would say, since 2008. Right. And stuff. We didn't go in one of the years, I will say. We didn't go in 2009. No. But uh, 2010, from then on, we've been going to San Francisco. We're going to bring Josh and Steven out. Right. You, you people probably know who Josh and Steven are. Uh, they've been in our videos before as well in our Let's Plays uh, from almost a couple years ago. And uh, they actually featured in episode 48 of Joseph versus Zachary. So they're going to come back out here again this summer and they're going to come up they're going to go to San Francisco with us and uh, we're going to have a good time, you know. Right. I mean Josh and Steven they're fun to be around. Yeah, they are. Funny people, good people, you know, I right. would say, stuff like that. So yeah, so looking forward for them to come out. Steven's coming out the 17th of June and Josh is going to be flying from Chicago and coming out on the 18th of June, the next day, and stuff. So, it'll be good. Uh, gonna go up to uh, San Francisco um, that the 22nd of June, and we're gonna stay there till for six days, I would say, until Tuesday. You know, we're gonna stay an extra day. We usually leave San Francisco on Monday, but we're gonna stay an extra day in San Francisco. So, we'll leave uh, San Francisco on the 28th of June, and then come back, you know? Yeah. So... Anyway, that's that. Also, in uh, on sept from September 30th to October 2nd, um, it's the TwitchCon. Zachary and I are going to be attending TwitchCon 2016 down in San Diego this fall. Um, if any of you are going to TwitchCon in San Diego on September 30th through October 2nd, if you're going and want to meet Zachary and I, you're more than welcome to. If you happen to see Zachary and I there, stop by and say hi, you know. Zach and I don't mind to take the time to say hello to our fans. Right? Right. Because I've met... Like, when I go to NASCAR tracks, I I meet a lot of fans and stuff. And uh, I, I always try to take at least a few minutes of my time to say hi and talk with them and stuff, you know. Because, you know, that's like... Because... When, when you watch the YouTube videos, like, all you see is the numbers of views, right? You don't see the faces behind those numbers, you know? You, so when you see their faces and you see them that they're excited to see you and, uh, um, you know, they're like, I watch your YouTube videos every day and stuff. It feels good, you know? It really feels good. And, of course, I always want to have a picture with them, you know? Right. So, you know, that I've met this person, he been a fan of ours, you know, which is pretty cool. So, uh, it's always cool to meet fans. And like I said, Zachary and I are going to be attending TwitchCon 2016 in San Diego at the San Diego Convention Center um, from September 30th to October 2nd. It'll be in that weekend and stuff. So, if you happen to go to TwitchCon down in San Diego this year as well, if you want to see Zachary and I, we will be there for three days, you know, all three days. 
of the TwitchCon, you know? Right. So, uh, and also we're thinking about handing out t-shirts as well, you know? Try to get our name out there. So anyway, thought I'd talk to you about that. We, you know, I thought we'd let you know what's going on. So probably a f uh, several of you already know. A lot of you, if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, stuff like that, you know that that we're going to be attending TwitchCon uh, down in San Diego this year. So it'll be fun. And also that same weekend, the autism walk down in San Diego is happening too. So Zachary and I, that's going to be a busy Saturday for us. We're going to get up early Saturday morning, go to the autism walk, you know, right. and then head to TwitchCon afterwards, you know. Right. So it's going to be, and the, the autism walk is 15 minutes away from TwitchCon and stuff. So we have to drive 15 minutes going to autism walk and then 15 minutes back. Our hotel is going to be right, it's going to be near the convention center, so it's like walking distance, so we don't have to drive, you know. Right. Stuff like that. It'll be good. So basically, we'll be in downtown. Yeah, but right by the water, too, you know? Right by the ocean a bit. Right. So, yeah. But, we, it's, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Gonna be a good time, everything. So, yeah. So, anyway, San Francisco coming up next month, which I need to film a lot in June before we go up to San Francisco because there's going to be a couple of weeks where I'm not going to be able to film at all. Right. You know? And same with you as well, you know? I mean, we're going to have to record ahead of time a, a couple of Versus episodes, a few Let's Plays, you know? I mean, we need content for those two weeks that you and I are going to be gone, you know? Are going to be busy at the towards the end of June and stuff. And uh, I had to do it last year too, Zach. It's a lot of work. I started at the beginning of June and stuff, you know, and then worked my way through so I could be done by the time uh, um, the trip to San Francisco comes along, you know? Right. So, anyway, I'm just looking outside. It looks like it wants to rain. Yeah, it does. It just looks like it wants to rain. I mean, it's not going to rain, but it looks like it wants to rain. Like I said, before I walked in here, it was sprinkling a bit. And the weather's supposed to be like this tomorrow and Saturday as well. And possibly Sunday, too, on Mother's Day here. It's like, this whole weekend's going to be full of overcast, you know? Yeah. Which we kind of had a weekend. I think it was back in January or February. We had a weekend that was basically overcast throughout the entire weekend, you know? Right. Which kind of... Wait, what was it a few weeks ago when it was kind of like that, too? But when... Brendan actually came, too. And we... Uh, me, Brendan, Manju, and Anju, we went to Malibu, Zach. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was so overcast here and wanted to rain here. As soon as we got to Malibu, it was sunny. I mean, it was so sunny. It's like, where is the clouds here, you know? I mean, it was cloudy the whole time we were there. You know, I have pictures I can prove to you and stuff like that. So, anyway. Um, okay, so, the difference between, uh, you know... When we were at Malibu, this was Malibu up here, right? right? When I was taking Brendan home, look at that, two hours later. It's like, how the hell does that happen? Yeah, I'll show you. I don't know. Real quick. It's weird. So this was a few weeks ago. So this is a picture of Malibu on the top, and it's so nice and sunny. I mean, there's clouds over there, but I mean, it was so nice and beautiful at the beach there in Malibu. It was perfect weather. Then two hours later, when I was taking Brendan home, look at the rain I was driving into. I mean, it was a big storm of rain. It was ridiculous. It's like how this California weather changes quick, you know? Right. I mean, it's just quick weather and stuff like that. And so, yeah, see, look. Look how beautiful it was there, you know? Right. It was just nice weather there, no problem whatsoever. And then all of a sudden, a couple hours later, I'm in the rain, you know? It's like, well, damn. <laughs> so, anyways, so that was... Uh, and interesting, interesting, you know? Right. And stuff like that. So, what are we on in time right now? We're about to 40 minutes now. It's a pretty good time, you know? So, what were you looking at your phone for? No, nothing. I was just looking at some pictures. Yeah. See, look at the weather here. Oh, it might rain tomorrow, it says. Holy crap. Uh, okay, 30% <clears throat> rain. That's nothing. You know? Yeah. That's just sprinkles, too. Alright, that's no problem. No problem whatsoever. 
And then Saturday's supposed to be overcast too. What was that? For? I will pick that up. Yeah, you will pick that up. <laughs> Not now. But uh, anyway, yeah, I was looking at the weather here and just. Uh, Friday, tomorrow, and Saturday, looks like it's going to be overcast. And then Sunday was sun and clouds. So, yeah. Are you going to the uh, the car museum Sunday? Yeah, I am. Are they going to do anything special for Mother's Day? Uh, I don't know. Let me check some real quick. It's in El Segundo, right? Right. And what is it called? It's called Automobile Driving Museum. Okay. Yeah, we just advertise the place and stuff. And it's every Sunday, right? Right. And I'm planning on trying to start a meet and greet there. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, if, people, if you guys live in the L.A. area and want to go to El Segundo to the, uh, what's the place called? Automobile Driving Museum. Yeah, Automobile Driving Museum in El Segundo. Every, every Sunday, Zach will be there and stuff if you want to say hi. If, right. you, if you want, of course. And it's this place has a lot of great reviews. Yeah. So, um, didn't you tell me one day that we're going to start doing Saturdays as well? Yes, yeah, they do it sometimes. Oh, it's not every Saturday? No. Do you plan on trying to go on Saturdays as well? I might sometime soon. Right. See, it says for this Sunday, a special, mother, special Mother's Day wine tastings, which I'm oh, not going to do Oh, so they, they're going to have like a wine tasting event there too, right. you know? All right, that's fine. All right. Yeah, so... You sure you don't want to do any wine tasting? No. Oh, come on, man. No, I would throw up. Man, listen. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't drink. So, yeah, well, I can't drink. Well, I know you Because this will really not do well for me, for my Crohn's disease. And, and course, my intestines, for sure. And, of course, you can't smoke. You can't either, smoke Which either. we don't ever plan on doing so. Well, I don't plan on doing either of that anyway, but now I really can't do it, you know? Right. So, <laughs> so I, I guess I'm good, you know? Right. So anyway. So yeah. So, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Um, you know, maybe just film a couple of videos or so. Yeah, you know, Manju is going to come here tomorrow. I think Anju has well got, but I think Anju has to finish up some of her schoolwork first. Right. You know? But Manju wants to come here tomorrow and we're going to film some stuff in the studio. Which, you will see that very soon on my channel and her channel as well. I'll send you links for that as well. And stuff like that. We're going to be filming a, a couple of videos tomorrow, you know. Manju wants to, you know. And then she wants me to help her to do thumbnails and and she wants me to take a couple of photos of her too because what we think you know how some youtubers they you know like they have like a cover photo on the on the youtube channel you know what i'm talking about right right so you know how with my youtube channel there's the two cars like chase elliott's car and dale jr's car and then my youtube name well i was thinking about doing that for myself soon where i take a picture of myself and i will add my photo onto the cover photo that's what we're going to do with hers too and stuff like that. So, maybe we could do that for yours too, you know? Sure. And stuff like that. So, Manju and I are going to work together with some YouTube stuff tomorrow. It's going to be basically a YouTube kind of day tomorrow, you know? Yeah. So. Speaking of YouTube, I think I'm now hitting 2,900 subscribers. Yeah? Yeah. I see. Let's see here. We are going to go to... Let's see. Right. You are right now at, yeah, 2,901 oh, wow. subscribers. All right. Cool. So you're about 99 away from 3,000 subscribers. Yeah. Let's see, with me right By now. By the way, during the time, you will have to teach me how to edit some videos some more because I promised them once I hit 3,000 subscribers, I would do a day with Magnum 05, just like you do a day with no, Magnum s before every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, as of right now, as we're recording this, I have 27,520 subscribers. So I'm halfway to 28,000. I've seen, like, ever since uh, the year started, Zach, mm -hmm. or ever since I hit 20,000, I would say, right. I seem to get a lot, gain more subscribers faster than yeah. before. Also, which is good. <laughs> yeah. Also, what I'm thinking about after I 
do my A Day With Magnum 05 video, after I put that up on YouTube, I'm also thinking about making another Q&A Q &A video. You know, I meant to do a Q&A for my 25,000 subscriber, and I even posted a video of that I'm doing it. I never did it. Really? It's been, what, let me see, when did I get my 25,000 subscriber? It's in here somewhere, let me find it. Uh, wait. It's, it'll say thank you for 25... No. Uh, hold on, let me find it real quick. Oh, okay, where's my thank you? Okay, yeah, I got 25,000 subscribers, Zach, on a, on a March 3rd. So March 3rd of 2016, I got... I reached up to 25,000 subscribers. I have reached up to about 2,000... Um, 520 subscribers since uh, in this span of two months, which is not bad, you know, right. not bad at all. Which is, I feel like my gaining subscribers pace is going faster, which is a good thing, because I'd rather that happen, you know. Right. Oh man, Zach. What? Look how many posts I have on Instagram. Holy crap! Hold on, Zach. You and I. Okay, I'm gonna take a selfie. Yeah, all right. So, so let me post this on Instagram real quick. No, I'll post it on Instagram in a little while. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's my plans tomorrow, you know. Right. And then Saturday and Sunday, see what happens then, you know. But, yeah, Manju wants to come here tomorrow and film some stuff for her channel. And I think a one video for my channel as well. And stuff like that. And then... Um, Anju may join us at the time, you know, because like she, she told me she has some work to do, right. so she may join us later, so, yeah, so anyway, that's just what's been going on, yeah. so, anyway, so, um, so, one more time before uh, we uh, head out and stuff, if you want to order any of our products, like the t-shirt, the Lombard Bros Gaming logo t-shirt, uh, the lap laptop skin, the mouse pad, um, bumper sticker, uh, regular sticker, and any color of these backpacks, Lombard Bros Gaming backpacks and stuff, just go to shop.lombardbrosgaming.com. The link is in the description below if you want to order any of these products and stuff. And you get to check out the prices and stuff for it as well. And there you go. And we'll uh, after you place an order, we will send... Whatever product you order, and we'll send it out to you, and it'll be on your way and stuff. So anyway, um, I think uh, I think we should call it call it a talk show, you know. Right. I think this was a good talk show. Um, our second talk show ever, you know. Uh, whoops. <laughs> and uh, hopefully try to do this more weekly and stuff, you know. Right. Hopefully do this weekly, and not slack off, you know, stuff like that. So I guess that's it. We're done. Right. All right, we're done. So I hope you enjoyed this talk, sh the Lombard Bros Gaming Talk Show, the second talk show ever. I um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, tune in next week for another talk show. Hopefully next week we will do another talk show and stuff like that. Promise we won't let you wait a month again, you know, right. stuff like that. That's it. I'm Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. Interesting 4, with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Man Number 5. And we will see you next time on another sh Lombard, Bro Lombard Bros Talk Show.